Hello everyone, this is lecture series 26, Introduction to IoT. In this video, we will be seeing about the model question paper for module 2. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So model question paper for module 2. So these are the split tips and these are the important questions that you have to really learn for your exams from module 2. With a neat diagram, explain the working mechanism of an actuator. So which is totally 6 marks. So you will be drawing the diagram. Along with that, the diagram will be completely explaining about the mechanism of architecture. Explain the types of architecture. All the types of architecture should be explained in detail where the weightage is 8 marks. Define sensor and explain the characteristics of sensor. It is totally 6 marks wherein you will be explaining about the about what is sensor and the characteristics of sensor. Next is set for the R choices. List and explain the characteristics of architecture where you will be listing the types of architecture and also specifying the characteristics of architecture. Total mark weightage is 8 marks. Explain the major factors influencing the choice of sensors in IoT based sensing solution. So here you will be uh, studying about, I mean, you, you will be writing about the sensor consideration because for each and every solutions or uh, each and every application, there are some consideration of sensors that has to be maintained. So you will be uh, writing all those in detail, which, which has eight marks in total. With a neat diagram, explain scalar and multimedia sensing techniques, which is four marks weightage. With the diagram, you will be explaining what it is. So I'll be giving you a hint of the split up of mark for each of the question. So first question, with a neat diagram, explain the working mechanism of actuator. Now you can tell what is actuator, which will be two marks. And you will be drawing this diagram wherein you will be explaining about how monitoring is done, how processing is done, what is sensor node and what is the mechanism of actuation, what uh, actually actuation is, how the monitoring and processing is driven into action. So that will be explained with this block diagram with an application which completely has 4 marks in weightage. So this is how the split up is done. So 4 plus 2 totally 8 marks weightage. Next, explain the types of actuators. So here you can, if, if you want, you can write what is actuator first where that will, that will also con will be considered for marks and you will be writing the types of actuators like hydraulic, pneumatic, electrical, thermal and magnetic, mechanical, soft, shape memory, polymer. So each of these types should be completely explained with examples. So hydraulic uh, actuators, is, you will be writing what is hydraulic actuators, what is the application of hydraulic actuators. You can give some examples if you really wanted to. So complete explanation with examples will be given 8 marks. Then define sensor and explain the characteristics of sensor where what is sensor you have to write. So how it is sensing, why sensor is needed. So how it is sensing, how it is monitoring the data from where the data is driven. So all those will be coming under what is sensor that will be two marks and the characteristics sensor resolution, accuracy and precision. You will be writing what is res resolution, what is accuracy, what is precision, why we need to move, uh, why we need to see all these resolution, accuracy and precision for a sensor. So all those should be explained which will be having four mark weightage. So totally six marks. The R choice will be list and explain the characteristics of actuators. Now you will be telling what is actuator which is 2 marks and you will be completely explaining the characteristics of actuators which is weight, power rating, torque to weight ratio, stiffness and compliance. So these are the 4 different types of characteristics where each and every characteristics should be explained in brief. What is weight? Why we choose weight as a character? Power rating, why power rating is required. So all those should be detailedly explained, which will have 8 marks weightage totally. So 8 plus 2, 10 marks. 
explain the major factors influence the choice of sensors in iot based sensing application so you must know that why there is a choice of sensor why why there is a consideration that is required so for if you have you first you start explaining why what all applic what our application is used based on the sensors so when once designing a sensor for particular application how it should be designed is it should be in what all uh, kinds it should be considered so that it will be uh, it will be used better in all the application so like that you can start your explanation and you can tell that there are this these many kinds of choice which which is uh, majorly considered say sensing range accuracy precision energy device size so all these you will be explaining how the sensing range should be how the accuracy should be how the energy of the sensor should be uh, how the size should be whether it should be minimal or uh, whether it is used for large scale all those you will be explaining which is having total of 8 marks Finally, with a neat diagram, explain scalar and multimedia sensing techniques. So this is the scalar sensing techniques. You will be drawing this diagram wherein you have taken fire as one example, where the temperature sensor is measuring the temperature when a fire is happening. So for diagram, it will be one mark and the explanation for that will be one mark. And multimedia sensing techniques, so you have taken surveillance camera as uh, one of the event and how it has been sensed. So for this diagram, one mark and the explanation like how it has been sensed by the camera will be one mark. So totally it is of four marks. Hope you have understood this. Please be stay tuned for more model paper discussion on module 345. Thank you.